Hello and welcome guys, this is Simple Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing a very special product. We have here today the Bose Soundlink Mini. I'm very excited doing this review, mostly because I've been waiting for quite a while to get my hands on this product. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So this is the Bose Soundlink Mini. It's a very well-built speaker. It's got quite an elegant design. It's very sleek and small. It's got a solid aluminium body, which not only looks cool, but also provides a strong protective coating. The Soundlink Mini comes in this amazing packaging, which speaks volumes about the quality of Bose. You just slide the outer layer and you get these two boxes inside. Let's just put the smaller box aside for now. In this big box, the top side of the box, is where you find the speaker. In the middle we have the charger and the charging cradle. Now I find this cradle to be very useful. All you need to do is place the speaker on the charging cradle and it starts charging. You can also use the charging cradle as a stand in case you don't want your speaker to get dirty. You can also directly connect the charger to the speaker so that can be very useful when you're traveling light. Also often at times when you place any speaker on soft substances like a couch or a bed, the sound gets a little muffed. So placing the Soundlink Mini on the stand before placing it on such places ensures a stable and non-muffed playback. Coming to the other small box, it seems to be a kit of adapters for universal ports around the world. It easily connects to the charger and you can connect your charger anywhere in the world so you don't really need to worry about finding a plug point compatible with the charger. The speaker itself is quite easy to use. It's got a few buttons on the top for simple usage. Starting from the left, we have the power button, the mute button, the volume down and up buttons, then the Bluetooth button and the aux button. It also has LED based indicators for power, Bluetooth and aux. To pair with the Bluetooth device like a phone or a tablet, First ensure your Bluetooth device and the Bose Soundlink Mini are both turned on. Press the Bluetooth button on the speaker to make the speaker discoverable. The Bluetooth indicator on the Soundlink Mini blinks blue to show that the speaker is discoverable. Set your Bluetooth device to discoverable and click scan and it should show up as Bose Mini Soundlink. Click it. The speaker is now paired. The speaker's memory can hold up to 6 pair devices like phones and iPods or something like that. So when the memory is full with these 6 devices and you're pairing a new device, the least recently used device is deleted from the memory and replaced by the newly paired device to accommodate these 6 devices. The range of the wireless distance of the Bluetooth would be around 25 to 30 feet so it should cover most parts of your home. For non-Bluetooth devices like your PC, you can connect them to the mini with the aux cable. You first need to click the aux button on the speaker to switch to aux mode. Now you can connect one end of the aux wire to your device and the other end to the speaker. Now you are connected and you can use it as a regular speaker. Talking about the sound, the quality in the Soundlink Mini is absolutely amazing. Bose didn't seem to compromise on anything while making the speaker. The acoustics are great, the vocals are very clear, the bass is amazing. I've noticed that when you're in a room, the speaker sounds best when placed against a wall. That said, I have no complaints whatsoever from the Soundlink Mini. It really stands out from other speakers in terms of sound and it definitely would be the best speaker in terms of sound that I have heard up till now. I'll play you a few samples from the Bose Soundlink Mini but I must tell you it sounds much 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 better when you hear it live. I'm just playing the samples so you get an idea about the sound. So yeah, here it goes. <laughs>
Coming to the battery life, the Soundlink Mini promises a sound playback of 7 hours and a recharge time of 3 hours. There are LED indicators above the power button which indicate the status of the power. It flashes red when the battery is low. It turns orange while charging and it turns solid green when it's fully charged. Yes, you can use the speaker while it's charging and it's alright to leave the speaker on the cradle for charging all the time but to ensure the longevity of the battery, it's better you remove it from charging when you're not using it for longer periods like a few weeks or a month. The Bose Soundlink Mini is priced at around 16,000 rupees, which is slightly on the higher side, especially given there's so much competition for Bluetooth speakers in the market these days. However, given the quality of the product, it does complete justice to the price tag. So if you are looking for quality and are not really concerned about the cost, the Soundlink Mini would be ideal for you. In my opinion, the Bose Soundlink Mini is a great Bluetooth speaker. The sound quality is the best I've heard till now and I was absolutely blown away the first time I turned on the speaker because it's really that good. It's also quite small and has a sleek and cool look. The buttons are quite easy to use and the LED indicators are quite helpful. It was really difficult for me to find any flaws from this product but after a while I did find a few. First being the speaker is very heavy, much heavier than all the other Bluetooth speakers that I've used. It's probably because of the metal finish but nevertheless this, do this does make it a little difficult to carry it around. Secondly, Bose seems to be giving very few accessories with the product. We only get the charging cradle and a kit of adapters. It lacks essential accessories like an aux cable or a carry bag which other competitors seem to be providing. And the third, the speaker is priced slightly on the higher side which really makes me wonder why they wouldn't include all the essential accessories. Another complaint people seem to be having is its lack of a speakerphone function. Which really doesn't make sense to me. Why would it have a speakerphone function? It's a Bluetooth speaker, not a phone. And Bose does a good job keeping it simple. And I've never really used a speakerphone function on a Bluetooth speaker anyway. At the end of the day, a Bose is a Bose and you wouldn't regret buying one. Thanks for watching guys, this is Simple Reviews. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Do give me a thumbs up, also subscribe to get latest updates about more of my videos. If there's a product which you would like me to review, just leave a comment below. See you guys.